If you find yourself in front of a computer looking at spreadsheets often, these 20 must know Excel shortcuts will hopefully save you hours of time. Alright, so here's the Excel file that we will be working with. Let's get started with number 20. As you can see over here in the table, we have all of this data down below, which when you start to scroll down, you can actually no longer see the header. So we are not quite sure what this is referring to and the same thing with all of these other ones. What we can do here instead is actually just do a shortcut which is going to freeze that top row. Now to do so you are gonna press alt plus wfr and now when we start to scroll down you will notice that the top line is frozen which makes things a lot easier for us. If you ever want to remove that you can always go over here under freeze pens in the view option just click on it and from here hit unfreeze pens and that's going to remove that for us next up at number 19 we have the control arrow here so as you can see over here to navigate across the data set because it's very long you can actually press the shortcut control and then just use the arrows so control plus down arrow to get all the way down to the bottom control plus up arrow and uh, right and left to go to the sides similarly you can do control plus shift plus down arrow and, and control plus shift plus right that basically allow you to select certain areas if you only want to select column b and c just stop pressing the control and just go shift plus right arrow and you can see that allow you to do that let's go up back to the top of the data set to look at number 18 so control plus up arrow to the top and over here you can see that we have got total sales and let's say we want to continue this. Now to do so you can just press control plus R. That's basically going to copy what you had toward the left and similarly you can go to the control plus D that is going to drag everything that you had above down one. Going back down toward the bottom. So control plus down arrow. Let's suppose over here that we want to add some new rows. So instead of actually going ahead and typing everything in again, what you can do is hit the alt plus down arrow. That's going to show you the drop down or down arrow of all of the things that you already had above. So it's somewhat faster for you to just paste it in there. At number 16, we have to select a row or a column. Now to do so, all you need to do is hover over a specific area and go to shift plus space. And similarly for the column, it's just going to be control plus space. Now that one on its own just isn't very useful. So that's when the next trick comes in. And combined it can be quite handy. So again we will do the shift plus space. And now if we want to add the row, you just need to go to control plus shift plus plus sign. Again control and shift plus and to remove some, you have to go to control minus and shift minus. Similarly for column, you can go control space and then control shift plus and control minus so what if we just want to move a specific row up a bit now to do so we will go to shift space again and instead of having to add new rows it is a we can just press the shift key and when you hover over the area you will see that cursor changes to these arrows and from there you just want to click and drag it let's say we we'll drag it up here and you can see how that's moved it all up Similarly, we can take it back down. So shift and then just drag it down over here. To undo that, we are just gonna press Ctrl plus Z and Ctrl plus Z again. Now let's go all the way back up. So Ctrl plus up arrows and you can see that sold items here. Let's say that we want it's a bit too long and so we want to space it out a bit. Maybe put it into a different line. Now to do so, we are just gonna get inside of it over here. And uh, what we are going to press is Alt and Enter and hit Enter again. And now you can see how it spaced it out across two lines, but it still stayed within the same cell. Coming in at number 12, we have got adding comments. So let's suppose that the new intern worked on this file, but we don't really trust her. So we just want to make sure that this number does make sense. Now one way to let her know is to go hover over the cell you are not sure about and just hit the shift plus F2. Now you can see that this pop-up is going to show up with your name and then over here we can write what you want. Uh, let's say can you check this. Now you can see that it's left this red sign 
which when you hover over it's going to show you actual comment as we have seen here this data set is not so small so suppose we want to reach row 100 we can hover over there which might be a bit tedious but the shortcut there is just clicking the control g that's going to show you the go to pop-up so within this pop-up the reference that we want is we want to go to the row 100 right so we are just going to put a a and 100 that's going to take us to that specific cell so we will hit ok there and you will notice that it's taken us exactly right there great that's the first part done and now let's get into the top 10 so we will just go to the next sheet and here you can see that we have caught the salesperson alongside some missing data from the first name and the last name now to fill this in we can go one by one here for the first name and the last name now to fill this in we can go one by one so write Ryan there and then Robert and so on or you can use the shortcut and here's the shortcut you just write the first name here and then press ctrl E and then you can see that it's going to fill all of these in just a second the same thing goes with the last name write Ellie and again press ctrl E if we look over to this side where it says total sales here let's say that we want to find out the total of that now to do that let's just go up toward the bottom here and all we need to do is set the alt equals that's going to sum up all of this total and just hit enter just like that and there we got the total next up the number eight suppose we want to copy the total amount and paste it somewhere else so we will go to control up here and all we are gonna do is control space and that's going to copy that whole column for us and then we will go control c let's say we want to paste it over here under column m and uh, control v but the problem is that it goes all to zero and that's because it was actually a formula so beforehand it was actually calculating the total sales which was the price and the item sold but now because it's not referencing that anymore it no longer works so instead that we are gonna copy it again so go to control space and then control c and this time instead of just control v we are going to press Control alt v and you can see that this is going to show this paste special dialog box and within this you can just paste the formula the formats etc in our case we want to paste the values that's what is going to give us the actual number so we will just click on that and hit ok and now you can see that it's paste at the values and if we look inside of them they no longer have the formula either okay let's move on to number seven we have got formatting shortcuts now so suppose over here that we want to change this from a dollar sign to let's say euro and within this we want to go under currencies and we want to change this to a euro sign so this one is the one that worked for us and let's say we also want to add one decimal place and basically that would do it for us but as you can see within format cells you can also change a lot of other things like the font the fill etc and here we can go for an orange fill as well to identify the euro sign hit ok now you can see that it's all reformatted and now if you want to replicate this this step and what you can do is actually press the f4 key which is another shortcut which is basically going to replicate the previous step so it's going to keep the same the number that was uh, there originally but it's just going to change the formatting all right now moving into the top five and over here let's just go back to this side of the data set and within the country name here you will notice that canada has a typo where it's got two a's now to get rid of that instead of going one by one which could be quite tedious especially if you have a long set of data you just gotta go to control h which is the replace feature defined and replace so we want to find the texture with two a's so canada there with the two a's and we want to replace that with a regular canada as it should be spelled then from here we are just gonna go to replace all and it's just gonna say okay we made replacements hit okay there and we are gonna close out that now that we have fixed that let's say that we just want to filter by canada so instead of going ahead and having to apply a full filter all we need to do is just right click on canada go under filter there and we want to filter by the selected cell value so just click on that and here you can see that we have all of the canada country details that's been filtered let's just remove the filter for now another great way to filter is using slicers 
now to do so first we are going to convert this into a table so go to control t and then it's going to select the data set and then it's going to select the data set make sure it's all correct and hit ok now from here we are gonna do is under table design we are gonna go to insert slicer so just click on that then we want a slicer specifically for the country this is going to allow us to select different countries so hit ok there and if we want to select canada again all we need to do is click on canada and that's going to filter it for us same thing goes with any other country similarly if you want to select more than one you have got to go to the stick sign here but this doesn't make sense in my data set because i only have two countries okay so in number two we have a common issue that people encounter let's suppose that we want to find out the top three sold items so we will just type that here the top three items sold and uh, so for the top one it's simply going to be the max function which is going to take the highest one right so we are just going to go is equal to max hit the top key and we are going to select all of these here and hit enter and there you go but for the second and third one we can no longer use the max function so instead there comes what's known as the large function we can write is equal to large and select this data put a comma and we want the second highest so we have to write here two close those brackets and hit enter and for the third one we are just gonna copy the cell down and uh, then within it we just have to change the number from two to three just like that we have the top three and finally as the number one let's suppose that it was our new intern that sent us this file and we doubt her so we just want to make sure that the all formulas uh, just make sense now to do so what we can do is actually hit the control key and this accent key of sorts it's basically going to allow us to see all of the formula and where they are going okay all right so that was the top 20 excel shortcuts to learn some awesome excel tricks visit our channel hit the like and subscribe and i'll catch you in my next one